Hello and welcome back to the Frank Olsen Twins YouTube channel. Today I'm narrating through a new DIY ribbon mic. This one's inspired by the RCA BK5. It features a short ribbon, less than three quarters of an inch long. If you'd also like a longer ribbon mic, go back and check out the RCA 44 clone I made. Long ribbons are great for low end response, but sometimes you want a mic with a little less bass and a little more mid range. This short ribbon mic is great for snare drum, guitar cabs, and general close vocal miking. It also sounds great as a stereo pair for drum overheads. This one starts on my vinyl plotter, which is loaded with a single ply walnut veneer. So these are the parts we'll be using today, and as the video goes on you'll see how they all fit together from left to right. To begin, I just start carefully tacking the parts together with super glue. I'll come back later and coat the entire chassis in CA. Now I'm lightly abrading the magnets. I'm being careful not to create any hazardous flakes or dust. A bit of rubbing alcohol cleans the magnets before gluing them into the chassis. I'm giving the first coat of CA before sanding into the final shape. And another coat of CA finishes the chassis. I use a heavy copper foil tape as mounting plates for the ribbon. I solder the ends closed and then solder in a humbucking wire loop as a primary contact. I cut the ribbon just a hair smaller than the magnet gap, about a hundredth of an inch. And the ribbon goes through my corrugator.
Here I've slowed down the video so you can see how carefully I work with the ribbon material. The ribbon has pretty low tension, which I've just eyeballed. You can get more technical with ribbon tension, as I did in the RCA44 video, but if the ribbon looks like it's flopping around when you move it, or sagging in the gap, or you can hear the ribbon crinkle, it's too loose. If you stretch the ribbon too tightly, then you'll lose bass response and get a funny upper frequency resonance. Re-ribbon a few mics and you'll get a feel for it. If you're making a matched pair, then go ahead and set the ribbon to a resonant frequency cutoff, like 30 or 40 hertz. Ideally, I want the ribbon to be as close as possible to the magnets, so I move the ribbon back and forth at each end to even the gap on both sides. Here, you see me pull the sag out of the ribbon and set the final gap between the magnets. Soldering in the transformer. And now adding a gauze baffle. Here's my BK5 inspired windscreen and the finish mic. Now you've been hearing my voice on the mic, so here's what a stereo pair sounds like as overheads for a drum kit. Thanks to Tomas at Savaria Studios in Brooklyn, New York for these drum recordings. The music is about to get loud, so turn down your volume now. That's my RCA BK5 inspired microphone. As always, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. Thanks for watching.